Okay, I know this, this is not the most flattering angle and you can't really tell exactly how cute this is, but I guarantee y'all are gonna like this video. <laughs> What is up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another episode of Tyra's Tinkers. Today, we are tackling my entryway. All right, you guys, the rest of this video will be voiceover. So as you can see, I am in my entryway and it is very small and white. So I want to zhuzh it up to make my apartment more creative. Now, it's really hard to get shots of this entryway, but here we go. So the first thing I did was made sure I cleaned the space. I am going to sweep and I am also going to mop this space to make sure that no dirt gets into any paint or any designs that I end up doing to the walls. So now I'm going in with my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to get the baseboards. You guys, I use this thing and I am shook, okay? So I wiped off the walls a little bit, but then I realized that I am gonna be painting. So I just focused on the baseboards and got them as white as possible because they will be staying white. Now I am going in with an all-purpose cleaner and I'm just cleaning off all of the walls. So the first thing I do before I paint is grab my painters tape and make sure that I am sectioning off each piece and I'm also going to use this little drop sheet so I don't get paint on my mirror or on the floor because that would be a huge problem. This is a non-negotiable step. Do not forget to use this. You could even use paper, newspaper, scrap paper, whatever you have around the house, trash bags, but make sure you cover everything that should not have paint on it, including the baseboards. Now, just like my last video, I have two colors of paint. I am choosing between Intimate White or Nearly Peach. These are both two peachy colors, but I am swatching it on the wall to see which color I like more in this area. So I ended up going with the same color that is in my kitchen, which is Nearly Peach, and now we are going to paint. So I'm using a regular paintbrush and I am going to get all of the corners first because that will make my job so much easier when I am using a paint roller. Now I'm going in with my paint roller and I am using the cloth roller and it did work pretty well, but it did soak up a little more paint. Now this is where it gets fun. I'm about to go in with a beautiful dandelion yellow color from Sherwin Williams called Goldfinch and this is a sample can. I suggest you guys get sample cans if you're doing half walls like this and you live in a small space like I do. But just like on the other wall, I'm going around the edges first with a regular paintbrush and then I'm going to finish it off with my paint roller. I only did one coat of paint on each wall because this is a rented space and I want it to be super easy to paint back to white before I move out. And remember, if you are using sample cans from Sharon Williams, they do not come with a top coat, so make sure that you apply a top coat. I did not film myself doing that, but I did apply one. And this is what the walls look like so far. I love how it's coming out, but I did break my mirror in the process. Oh no! Which was not very fun. Now we are going to decorate you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some paintings on the wall that I actually made myself. And to do that, I am going to create these stencils and put them on the wall to map out exactly where I want these paintings to go. So to create these stencils, I just used some random craft paper that I had around the house and traced the entire outline of the frames so I know exactly how much space each painting will take up on the wall. 
Now I am going back in on top of each stencil to map out where the nail needs to go. And to do this, I'm just using the back of a frame so I can place the hole exactly where it needs to be. I am using these small finishing nails because these paintings are very lightweight so they don't really need that much reinforcement. And now I'm going in and I am nailing each nail into the wall and I am going to remove the stencil and place the painting on top of the nail. I ended up getting these frames from Walmart and I just used some gold paint to add a little bit of flair to them before putting my personalized paintings inside of them. So a pro tip that I have for you is to make sure that you do not nail your nails too far into the wall and also do them at a slant so you do not drop any of your paintings oh, no. like I did. This is how it is looking so far. I am so excited about all of the different colors and the paintings. It really adds some more life into the room and it adds more color, which can be super hard to do in such a tiny space. If you like any of these paintings that I have on the wall, I used inspiration from Etsy, Society6, and Pinterest. If you do not want to spend money on paintings and just have your own artwork displayed, you can go on these websites and get some dope inspiration and then have a self-care, relaxation, decompression day where you just paint your heart out. I have a rule in my space that all of the artwork on the walls are my own so I can start to feel confident about the things that I create, especially being a content creator. So I am super excited with how all of this turned out. Now I'm installing this gorgeous glass calendar that I got from Target. I will have the link down below. I did buy it almost a year ago, so I don't know if they still have it in stock, but it will be down below. This thing was super complicated to put up you guys i highly recommend that you have someone to help you so shout out to tal for coming in to help it's really a two-person job and i just used my drill to drill some holes and then followed the instructions that came with the calendar they were super easy to read even though it was challenging to put together So this wall calendar uses wall plugs and screws to hold the entire thing up. So I did have to adjust a few times because I did not really measure properly. So measure twice, drill once, don't do like me and just scribble on the wall. But overall it came out really well and I'm super excited with how it looks against the yellow background. Now I am going in with some faux ivy branches that I picked up from Amazon. They come in separate vines so you can take them completely apart. I decided to keep them together a little bit more so they can look way more organic. Leave them some kind of tangled up, look more organic. I'm just tangling these up more. And to keep these vines on the wall, I used a pack of little gold hooks that I found from the Dollar Tree. I also used some nails and some tape. So this is how my entryway came out, you guys. I am so in love with it. Every time someone comes over, they are just in awe when they walk in because the first thing you see is the vines on the wall and the bright colors, and it just adds to the overall atmosphere of my creative space. I absolutely love it. It makes me want to just come inside and create more content for y'all. So let me know in the comments if you like what I did with the space. 
If you guys like that video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. And make sure your notifications are on so you can get all of the alerts anytime your girl posts any new DIY content. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.